the origin of the musical ride goes back to the early part uh, of the 19th century. The first public demonstration that we know of was in 1887 in Regina for Lord and Lady Dudney. We raise all our horses at our breeding farm in Pakenham, and they're brought in here to the Rockcliffe stables the summer that they're three years old. We take roughly two and a half years to gradually introduce them to the work that they need to know. So the earliest a horse would travel with the musical ride is in its sixth year. Most of the horses, uh, preferably all of them, would be black. The color that was chosen for us in 1939 by then Commissioner Wood. We don't breed for any one specific breed, it's more a type. Color, size, conformation, disposition, and rideability are the things that we look for. And that's why after many years of trying the warm blood thoroughbred crosses, working the best for us. A warm blood is a cross of a workhorse bred back to a thoroughbred. The brood band here, their job is to produce babies. It's a tough process to put them in full, a tougher process to keep them in full, and the toughest part is when you get them too full and then you lose the full. As big and as strong as they look, they're very, very sensitive animals. The mare the queen gave us, Golden Jubilee, produced a beautiful filly, pure black with no white at all, great temperament, good movement. So, of course, there was no other solution, and she produced another beautiful filly, except it's a chestnut. Certainly, if I could produce all black, that would be ideal, but that (laughs) never happens. It's great to see a foal being born here and end up on the musical ride. When they leave the breeding farm and go to Ottawa, their pasture land is on the Aviation Parkway. Constable Holly Maffenbeyer. We start our days at 7 a.m. First thing we do is take care of the horses so their stalls are all cleaned out. Bedding is refreshed. Any old hay or oats that they haven't eaten is taken out. Then we are assigned our horses. We get our horses ready and usually around 8 o'clock we turn out which means go ride. We ride for anywhere between an hour to two hours in the morning. After that we turn back in, take all our tack off. We clean all our tack clean our horses' stalls, and the afternoon is very much the same. My name is Lynn Wilms, and I've been with the ride a year and a half, uh, one year of training, and then my first year of touring. About 800 people a year express an interest, and they take 32 of them on two separate basic courses, and from those 32, they select somewhere between 15 to 18 members to come back. We do two provinces every year. In 2011, we'll be doing Saskatchewan and the Maritimes. When you start out, you're usually assigned an easier horse. You've developed your skill as a rider. You know their idiosyncrasies and you know their habits and, you know, their affection. Yeah, you do. You get attached and you'll always have a special spot for them. They do a very good job of matching personalities. It's amazing actually how well the instructors here know the horses. Once the horses are either retired from the ride or replaced, they're transferred over to our training unit where we use them to train the new riders. These horses, they're invaluable because of their experience. I think it gives the community a chance to see the RCMP and police in general. In, in a different way. There's a lot of good that it does, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun in the process. It's one of those chances where I get to talk with all of these people that I do my job for.